Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install and use Eclipse IDE on your Ubuntu operating system. So Eclipse can be installed in few different ways and I'm going to show you the most efficient and most easiest way of installing Eclipse on your Ubuntu operating system. Now there is a prerequisite of installing Eclipse IDE and that is Java needs to be installed on your Ubuntu operating system. Now, if you don't know how to install Java on your Ubuntu operating system, I have already created a video about it. So I'm going to put that link in the description of this video. So you can uh, watch that video and install Java and then come to this video. So once you have Java installed on your Ubuntu operating system, let's start with the installation of Eclipse IDE. Now, as I said, there can be many ways in which you can install Eclipse and the most easiest way is by using the Snap Package Manager. So as I mentioned, Snap is a package manager for your Ubuntu operating system and it can be used to install Eclipse also. Using Snap, you can also remove or update the version of Eclipse very easily. So just type install Eclipse Snap on your favorite browser and the first result which will appear here will be from snapcraft.io forward slash Eclipse. Now by the way, Snap is an official tool from Ubuntu. So it's uh, supported by the same team which have created the Ubuntu operating system. So now we have opened this snapcraft.io forward slash Eclipse uh, URL. I'm also going to put this link in the description of this video. Now, when you scroll down a little, you can uh, see uh, the description of this package and you can also see you may need to install the compatible JRE on the host. That means you need to have Java basically pre-installed on your uh, operating system. To install Eclipse using the snap, you can click on this install button and then copy this command, which is sudo snap install eclipse space hyphen hyphen classic. So I'm going to just copy this uh, command and then I can minimize my browser and open the terminal. To open the terminal, click on show apps icon here and then click on terminal, which is going to open my terminal. And then I just need to simply paste this command, which is sudo snap space install space eclipse space hyphen hyphen classic. I'm going to press enter here and give my Ubuntu's password, which I used to log into my Ubuntu operating system and then press enter. This is going to start the installation of Eclipse using the snap package manager. At this point, we just need to wait for the installation to finish. You can see the progress here. So it will be installed really fast. Just wait for a few seconds here. And now Eclipse is installed and we can see this uh, message which, which says Eclipse 2024-03 from Snapcraft is installed, right? And using this command, you can install the latest version of Eclipse. So whatever is the latest version of Eclipse, it can be installed using this. So you can see this version is the latest at the time of making this video. I can verify this by just searching for Eclipse IDE and then going to this website which says eclipseide.org and you can see uh, this version which is available on the official website is also 2024-03, right? So it installs the latest version of Eclipse. Now once Eclipse is installed, we are going to just click on this show apps icon and then here directly you can see the Eclipse icon. If you don't see the Eclipse icon, just search for Eclipse here and you will see this result here. So I'm going to press uh, on this Eclipse icon, which is going to launch Eclipse IDE. Let me minimize this terminal here and you can see this Eclipse IDE will be launched in few seconds. And now you can see this window. So for the first time when Eclipse IDE opens on your Ubuntu operating system, it's going to ask you to select the directory for the workspace. This is the directory where all your projects will be saved by default. So this is the path. I'm okay with the path. If you want to change this path, you can click on the browse option. You can also make this path 
as the default path for the workspace, right? I'm going to leave it as unchecked for now and then click on launch here. And now my Eclipse IDE has been launched on my Ubuntu operating system. Now, once the Eclipse IDE has been started, let's create a Java project to verify that everything is working correctly. So we are going to create a Java project and then compile and run our Java program. So for this, what we can do is we can just close this welcome window for it now. And it's going to open this kind of package explorer. You can also click on file here and then click on new here and then click on Java project here. And then here you can give the name to your project. So I'm going to name my project as hello world, for example. And then you can use the default location, which is our workspace uh, folder. I'm going to leave it as uh, it is. And now we need to configure the JRE file. So here you can select any version of uh, JRE. But here what we are going to do is we are going to configure the JRE, right? So here we are going to uh, press configure JREs here. And then you can see Eclipse has recognized the version of uh, JDK, which are installed on our Ubuntu operating system. It has selected snap eclipse 87 plugin.org, which is by default. But because I have installed the Oracle Java and I want to use this Oracle Java to uh, build my program and run my program. So I'm going to use this Java JDK 22 Oracle X64 location from here. So if you have followed my video on how to install Java JDK using Oracle, then you might also see the same result here. So I'm going to choose this JDK. If you don't see this result, just leave this as uh, JRE, which is in front of Snap Eclipse uh, location, right? And then click on apply here and then click on apply and close, which is, which is going to use this JRE, which is by JDK 22 Oracle hyphen X64, right? Now in the project layout, I'm going to leave uh, this as default, which is create separate folder for source and class files. Also, I have this working set, which I'm going to leave it as uh, default for now. And I'm going to uncheck this option, which says create module hyphen info dot Java file. For now, I don't want to uh, do this. And then I'm going to click on the next button. And here I can see the source folder structure and also I can see the bin folder structure, right? So I'm okay with this. So I'm going to click on finish here, which is going to create my project. So you can see my project has been created and I want to create a Java file under this source folder or SRC folder. So I'm going to right click on this uh, SRC folder and then click on new and then, and then I'm going to select this class option here. And then I'm going to give the name of my class. So I want to name my uh, class as hello, for example. And then you can see modifiers. I'm going to leave it as default, which is public. And then I'm going to leave the other things as default. You can also create the public static void method for this class by checking this checkbox. I'm going to just check this checkbox, which is going to create our public static void main function inside this class and then click on finish. And you can see this hello uh, class is created and it has created hello.java file. And you can see this hello.java file is created and inside this hello class, we also have this public static void main method. Now here to print the hello world, we can just write, uh, write SYS and then press control uh, space, which is going to give you the option. You can see system is available there. Dot out dot print LN. So we are going to use this uh, print LN function. And then inside this print LN parenthesis, we are going to just type hello world. And then once your uh, code is created, just 
press on this save button which is going to save your file and in order to run your code you can either go to this uh, run section here and then click on run here or you can click on this uh, run button which is available here you can also debug your code using this button so let me click on this run option and then click on run here and it has compiled our program and I can see this hello world result here which is printed by using this text here so everything is working on our Eclipse IDE so this is how you can install the Eclipse IDE on your Ubuntu operating system I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video